So today's plan is exterior furniture and beautifying stuff. What's going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of If There's a Will, There's a Wave. If you follow along with the series, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome aboard. It's time to get worse the further down you go. <laughs> We're restoring this 1973 32 foot Lord's Flybridge Sport Fisher that's been sitting for what's seemingly more than two years. In this episode, we do a little DIY marine upholstery and add some flair to a 46 year old boat. Let's get into it. We've got some chairs. Oh, that's what these are. It's, it's that time. These were all the boxes that were on top of my car when I said, hey, if you guys figure out what this is, you get a point. Who got a point? Who got a point? Mention in the comments down below and I will send you your point. This is what we're doing. We got six of these uh, complete chairs. They're basically uh, the frames, the cushion with no material on it. And I purchased some white marine grade vinyl. We're gonna be uh, doing some upholstery today. That's number one on the list. So I just put out the seat cushion only. Dude, this is what it looks like. So, you know, you got a nice, uh, what is that? Almost two inches of foam. I actually sat on it, just like dry tested it. And yeah, it was pretty comfortable. So to try to make this as, I guess, marine grade and durable possible, this is what I'm gonna do. I was gonna just stain it and, you know, throw some clear on it or a little uh, a glaze on it, if you will. But instead, my uncle gave me this stuff. It's a wood preserver. It says, provides protection against attack from termites and other wood boring insects. Resists rot, mold, mildew, swelling, and warping. To make this have its most life, I mean, it's not gonna be getting directly wet, but just in case, you know, whatever, whatever, at least that'll be protected. So I've got six of these that I'm gonna do. Let's get to it. It's got a really weird color. Let's see what it does. That was pretty bad also. Doesn't say anything about wearing a mask, so I'm not. got six of these chairs built and six of these pads all stained ready on the wood here's our vinyl we're gonna start cutting up so here's the game plan uh, mind you, I have not done this before ever, so uh, if it comes out awful, I hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't. Perfect. Put a little bit more center. Cool. Staple gun. We got it here. I think right now I got brad nails put in there. Yep, brad nails. I'm gonna get my staples. Before I do this, actually, I'm gonna watch a quick video to make sure I don't do this wrong. So, I'll be back. Let's see how this goes. So, from what I saw, I'm supposed to do the front side edges first, middle of the sides first. Okay, boom, boom, boom. All right, let's hit this.
first one done. It took me 20 minutes, and I already got blisters. <laughs> but check it. I mean, these little corners could have been a little nicer. I don't really know how to deal with that, but I'm pretty sure. I mean, that's that's pretty typical, right? Like you see that in other types of upholstery. So let's try it with this guy. All right, so they'll come out something like this. Something like this. Apologize for it being a little dirty. It's pretty tough to <laughs> keep things clean when they're outside. start to see the idea of what I'm going for. We're gonna have a chair, cooler, chair, and then one more chair that's probably gonna hang out in the corner where that is right there. Mm -hmm. 